So my birthday is coming up in two weeks and I will be 51 years old. Don't let the gray hair fool you, but I will be 51. I feel about 26 though. Today is my yearly checkup at Titan Medical Center. So just come here, check everything out, keep myself healthy and shape and active. It's always a pleasure to come around and see my Titan family. I enjoy seeing them and it's a beautiful thing. All my therapies, they're going as planned. I'm feeling better each and every day. I'm feeling my energy levels through the roof. The ECA stack is just ridiculous. The Hercules, my favorite obviously, keep me pumped, keep my pump going. Uh, Titan Complete, the B12, everything. Just keep me young, keep me looking young, feeling young. I recommend anyone and everyone to jump on these Titan products. It will definitely improve your life, improve your health, and just get your blood work done, see what's going on with you on the inside, because it's more important to look good on the inside and the outside as well. The blood work is very, very important because you always need to know what's going on on the inside of your body, and you can't see that physically, so with the blood work, you know all your levels, make sure your testosterone levels, your estrogen levels, Every level you have in your body is being checked thoroughly through a doctor and it's, it's always a good thing. You need to know what's going on with your body and if there's something wrong, you can easily fix it most of the times. I've been with Titan now for going on, it seems like nine or ten years, but it's been a long time. I've been enjoying, enjoying the ride, enjoying the journey uh, and I thank them for keeping me healthy, keeping me on track, keeping me accountable and uh, hey, you see it. What's up guys, John here, and today I wanna to talk to you about some good tips and tricks that will set you up for success when you're going to do workouts or strenuous activity, okay? So I've talked about before in the past some of the things not to do. That's a whole different video. But there are some different things that you can do that are gonna set you up for success when you're going in to get a great workout or to have great strenuous activity, whatever it may be. So let's talk about some of these different things that you can do to help improve your workouts or strenuous activities. The first one, so get some headphones. They don't have to be expensive ones, but get some headphones, create a playlist. Music is awesome. That's why it's in every movie. It motivates us when we're driving or in an emotional state. It can bring up feelings. It can definitely motivate you when you're in the gym. The other thing is, it actually will cancel out the different distractions that may be around you in the gym. And it detours people from coming up to you because some people might come up to you at the gym. You never know. So if you're kind of zoned in, you're listening to music, you're really not paying attention to other people or anything else, you're zoning in to what you're doing, to that activity or to that exercise, which is awesome. Plus, you're getting that emotion from that music and that playlist, which is helping you out or might actually help you do more reps, feel stronger when you're in there, or be able to do longer cardio sets, right? Because we want something to distract us, not worried about the countdown, one, two, three, oh my God, we, we're barely to a minute now. You'll just be rocking and rolling and get into your own little zone. It's awesome thing. Just get in that zone, you'll be rocking and rolling, and you'll get way better results that way, I promise. Number two. You want to have some kind of meal or some sort of nutritional factor in there as far as getting a little bit of protein, um, maybe eating some, some natural sugars like some fruits. These are great things to do before you go to the gym. Not eating an abundance of it or not eating a whole bunch of candy or overeating and stuffing yourself and feeling tired and lethargic afterwards like we talked about before. 
but getting a little bit of balance in there for what your body can utilize while it works out and then afterwards for repairing your body after you break down all those muscles and everything you need to repair and it needs nutrients to do this so having that balance of being able to eat beforehand and then a little bit afterwards is going to help you tremendously in your results whether it's trying to get lean or you're trying to put on more lean body mass as far as that goes so losing weight or putting on lean quality mass and, and gaining more muscle and we know this the more muscle you have the more fat that you burn so it's not a bad thing and you don't have to turn into a huge bodybuilder to do this you're just having your body fat very low and you're having you know your lean body mass very high all right so then are two different tricks the third one getting proper rest the night before this is key because if you don't have proper rest you know you might not be there mentally you might not be there physically you not might not be able to feel like you want to go in there and, and be able to do anything so at that point you want to make sure that you're getting proper rest so you have enough energy throughout the day or after work to be able to go in there and do it okay and proper rest is going to get you in there mentally you can be able to do more physically it's just overall better for your health and it actually brings down stress levels too as well so the fourth tip or trick this one correlates with the last one completely and that is showing up that's half the battle okay whether you're tired or not if you go in there and you get that activity in and you're exercising you're going to be helping yourself and you're going to progress a little bit is better than nothing okay so if you go in there at least you're getting something you're, you're, you're getting your heart rate up you're working you know you're getting towards that result now you shouldn't do this all the time but if there's days where you're just not feeling it try to push through the hardest you possibly can if it's not the best workout in the world at least you put forth the effort you're burning some calories there and you can feel good about it it's actually it's a rewarding feeling so make sure you guys show up and go in and do something all right don't make it a habit to show up and do nothing or very little you want to make sure you're showing up being consistent and putting a lot of for, a lot of effort forth okay so these are just four tips and tricks that i want to share with you for your success in your weight loss journey building lean mass you know overall better health okay so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in we got more tips and tricks coming your way so stay tuned stay healthy and stay tight and strong hello folks my name is Cass one of the nurse practitioners at Titan Medical Center today I want to speak to you about Hercules potion some of the key ingredients L-citrulline L-arginine these increase vasodilation, help you with the focused pump when you're training and exercising. L-carnitine, which helps fat metabolism, can help you lose weight. In addition to that, it has glutamine, proline, lysine, which also help with recovery, antioxidants, decreased muscle soreness. It also has NAC, taurine, and ornithine. These all help with making your workouts longer and more productive, and also anti-aging properties as well. If you're interested in learning more about Hercules Potion and other Titan Medical Center therapies, please give me a call. I would love to hear from you and help you achieve your goals. I can be reached at 727-389-3220. Stay strong and stay healthy. Hello, my name is John Sikoris and this is Cherie Sikoris and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today we want to talk about our Titan Complete injectable vitamin and amino acid therapy. This therapy is doctor prescribed and monitored. Um, it has your essential amino acids and your branch chain amino acids in it. Uh, it also has all your B vitamins in it. So what this is gonna do for you is it's gonna boost your metabolism naturally. It's gonna help you with energy through the day, okay? It's gonna aid in weight loss. It's also gonna aid in muscle synthesis, okay? So it's gonna help build muscle and retain muscle. So uh, amino acids, the branch chains, there's only three of them. Leucine, isoleucine, and valine. These three are also essential amino acids, okay? That means that your body cannot produce them. You have to get them from food. If you're like me, and I'm on the go all day, it's really hard to get these things. And I see a lot of people, okay, they're taking over-the-counter supplements with all these fillers, and they really don't know what they're intaking, and drinking these things all day, and feeling bloated, and a lot of water retention, just not feeling good. You don't need to do that, okay? One injection, 
will cover that for you and you will not need to do any of the over-counter and drinking the, the powders all day. It will be a more natural way, you know, become prescribed from the doctor, monitored. So, I mean, you know, what was your experience with it, Cherise? Well, a couple little things. Number one, I know a lot of times when you say injection, everyone goes, injection. Oh my God, it's so scary. So with that being said, it is given with a little baby tiny insulin syringe. I personally don't like needles, but I get the great effects out of it. So once you kind of trade the two and you realize that it's semi overrated to a certain degree and it really doesn't hurt, then you're able to get over it and enjoy the benefits of the injectable. Um, so that's number one. Number two, you know, not only does it give me energy throughout the day, like a natural energy that kind of carries me through the day, but you know, me, I'm sure a lot of you guys know, um, I'm busy back to back calls. I think I'm here sometimes, you know, for 15 hours and I, I just don't take a lunch break because you know, I, as soon as I grab the food to eat it, I, I get pulled in another direction and you know, that that's just a different story on itself. But with that being said, it does have my branch chain aminos in it. So my muscles don't go into atrophy if I don't eat. So it does help me out in that aspect as well. So it'll kind of help even out my days a little bit. A lot of you guys out there, um, you know, the people that are in the gym and you're doing your BCA, you know, drinks and you're doing it before your workout or, you know, during your workout or after your workout. Um, if you're injecting it and you do it right before your workout or even if you do it after your workout, but if you do it before your workout, you don't need to drink anything in between. I mean, it's in your system. The absorbency rate is going to be a lot higher. So you're talking 10% of what you think is, you know, in a bottle that's on the label because nobody really knows exactly what's in that, you know, powder you're buying over the counter um, to, you know, the potency level of, I would say about 85 to 90% when you're injecting it and it's coming from a pharmacy, which is, they are being regulated. So what's on the label has to be in the bottle. So it's a big difference between buying something over the counter versus it coming from a pharmacy and you knowing exactly what's, you know, what you're getting. Like I said, don't get me wrong. You can get all this from food, all right? That's if you're weighing it out and you make sure you're eating in the exact same. Like I said, for us, it's real hard. For somebody that's working at 9 to 5, it's real hard. For this, you know, little baby insulin needle that you would inject with this therapy, you're getting all your B vitamins, you're getting branch chain amino acids with essential amino acids, okay? It's going to aid in weight loss. It's going to help you through the day. The bioavailability and the transportation rate are going to be there. That means you're going to absorb more when you're taking over the counter. Like you said, it, it's a very, very small percentage of absorbency. Like, and you don't have a clue as to what you're getting. I mean, if we look at the bigger picture, you guys do know that no one knows what's really in that bottle. You know, so it's 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 a, it's a big difference, and you you'll feel the difference as well. Hey guys, so I'm here with Yetta, and we're at Titan Medical Center. Uh, I wanted to talk about some of the different therapies that you use. Yetta, obviously you're a sponsored athlete with Titan Medical Center, right? Yes. So she uses some of the therapies. So what therapies do you think you like the best? What are you using? How do you think it's helped you? Well, um, I'm currently taking Titan Complete, um, Hercules Potion, Glutathione, okay. and ECA Stack Plus. Wow, nice. All right. All yeah, right. I got a lot going on because I'm prepping, good. so it's helping me tremendously during my prep. Okay. So with the um, the Titan Complete, what I like about it is the BCAAs. I get my mm. BCAAs, and it helps me with energy, mm -hmm. and it has the mix shot in there, yeah. so it also helps with fat burning properties, which is yeah. really awesome. Um, the Hercules Potion helps me get through my workouts, nice. helps me give me that muscle pump, and helps me focus during my workouts, and I don't have to worry about crashing. You know gotcha. how you take those pre-workouts, and yep. it gives you all that energy, makes you jittery, and then you yep. get that nasty headache afterwards? Yep. Not what Hercules Potion is awesome. Okay, all right. Um, ECA, ECA, ECA Plus, yep. Stack yep. Plus, yep. The Fat Burner. Yep. Um, it's awesome. I usually do my fasted cardio in the morning mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. me just when I wake up at five in the morning and <laughs> it's early rising. Yeah. Yeah. And then that, that helps a lot to help me get through my workouts yeah. because I just need it right now. Better than out. coffee, better than those energy drinks totally, out there. Just, totally. Right. Okay. Cool. Clean energy, focus, no crash. And granted, my, I work out for four hours a day. So I need four it. hours. And it helps me go and it keeps Ooh. me going on top of me working eight to 10 hour shifts on top Dang. of it. Yeah. And she's got kids. So, yes. I mean, it's, it's not yeah. like, you know, it's just like, oh, it's just herself. I mean, you know, she's got, she's got her guy, she's got her kids, <laughs> she's got her job, and she's got herself where she's got to do this hard training. So, yes. this is really cool. So, all right, so she's using those three. So, you got your energy down, you got your pump recovery down, you got your MIG fat burning properties, BCAs, branched amino acids. And I got my immunity. Right? 
Okay, so immunity, and that's that's really important, right? Yes, now. especially now because of COVID, and also because I'm getting lower in body fat, my immune system is down. So right now I'm taking glutathione, which is really good to help me keep my immune system boosted to its optimum levels. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a super antioxidant. If you guys don't know what glutathione is, it's also for immunity and immune system boosting wherever you're at in life. Whether you're training for a competition or you're just in daily life and you're going outside right now, mm -hmm. you want to you know give yourself the best body defense you possibly can. So that's awesome. So those are those are almost like the fantastic four here right totally because i mean it. for me i love titan complete i take it in the mornings hercules potion obviously before i train mm -hmm. my eca i take in the morning and it gives me energy all throughout the day for my training sessions and everything like that obviously i'm working got kids too and glutathione is definitely a go-to for me i take it uh intermuscularly and iv if i can get an ivs if i have time to get an iv because it's been so busy so yeah that's really really cool so you've been seeing really good results oh yes Awesome, yes. awesome, awesome. Blood work, I know that's been coming in key. How's blood work now looking? Oh, my blood work is really well. I get it done every six months, and right now I'm at optimal levels where I need to be, and I want to keep it consistent, so I keep consistent with my therapies in order to keep my blood work at the optimal levels it needs to be. Awesome, awesome. So, Yetta is taking the therapies. She's getting ready for a competition right now currently. We're wishing her big luck, and I hope everything keeps going great. Yes, thank you so much, John. Thank you for coming in, Yetta. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with Cupid's Corner Super Bowl Edition. That's right. So we want to give you guys some tips and tricks so couples can enjoy the big game together. I think that's really important. You know, most guys out there, they like football, right? It's just built in our genes. It's a man's man's game. We like to see our teams win. And Super Bowl is that big game. It's like, you know the utmost highest peak that you can possibly get in the competition, right? It's the best of the best. Two teams battling out to be the Super Bowl champs this year in football. But most guys like it, but some girls, they might not like football. I mean, you can pretend. Yeah, so what do you do to really get your partner involved in the big game? And there's some different tips and tricks that me and Trish are gonna throw at you guys that will hopefully help you guys have a great time in this big game for Super Bowl and have a fun time doing it. So let's talk about some of the different things that you can do. Of course she takes the ball. <laughs> so some of the different things that you can do, right? If it's just you and your significant other, right? Cause COVID's going on, we might not be able to have big Super Bowl parties or you just want to be safe or you just want to be with your partner alone at home relaxing. Fun. Okay, so it's real simple and real easy. If you guys both like football, and there are women out there that like football, right? I mean, I sports. like football. I don't like to watch football, but I do like to throw football because okay. I'm good at it. Yeah. <laughs> she is good. <laughs> she can definitely throw football. I will vouch for that. She's a good athletic. So there's a lot of athletic women out there. There's a lot of women out there that like football. You know, and if that is the case for you guys, that's probably the, the best case that you guys could possibly have, right? Because you both enjoy this game. You guys can watch the game together and know what's going on per se and enjoy it together and kind of root for the same team or against each other, however you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Which goes right along into our second part of this. If the girl or your wife or partner does not like football, okay? Like I said, you can pretend. Because right. listen, at the end of the day, we all have to remember that you know, this particular sport can bring males and females together. Yeah. Even if you don't like the sport, you can still get together and have a good time, eat food, have a couple drinks. Yes, I said you can have a couple social drinks. Yes, I said yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, be able to socialize and have fun with some friends or even just by yourselves. It's, you know, it's a time for you to be able to just hang out, have a good yeah. time. Yeah. And it, it, that, like I said, if it's just you and them, or you and your significant other, your partner, and she doesn't like football, make it competitive, right? Pick one team, the other person picks another team, and you guys can have a little wager of who wins the game. Mm -hmm. So you guys will be more involved, be more entertaining. Like she wants to win it, whether it's an IOU or a favor for each other, you know, you could be 
doing the dishes that night or a massage or whatever it is, okay? Um, and the girl's gonna get into it. She's gonna wanna win. She's gonna wanna get that prize, whatever it is, and so are you. So it's really a double whammy or a double win for you guys because you'll be winning watching the game with your significant other partner and hopefully winning that bet and winning that IOU, Girls whatever it may be. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing is, is having a, a safe Super Bowl party, mm. okay? Because COVID's out there, there's a lot of restrictions in place of what should be going on, you know, and depending on what state you live in, you know, who should be over, how many people should be over, or what you gotta do. So the biggest thing I could say is, is try to keep your circle small for Super Bowl. Um, try not to be around a lot of people in public if you, you don't have to wear your mask, mm -hmm. you know, these different things that people, they want us to do. Um, but if you're having a small gathering, have fun with each other. Like literally, like the guys and the girls can both talk about different things, whether it be the sport or other things that are going on. I think that's, that's left out. Usually people just separate. You know, I've seen like girls going to one room mm. and guys going to another. That's no fun, right? Um, you know, and some of the girls just don't want to be around football and that's kind of the reason why. But I think if you're together with your partner, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to bond in one way, shape or form. Yeah, I mean, even if you're, I mean, honestly, I'm just trying to think outside the box because I'm not like that. But, um, you know, if I was like that, what would I do if I was a female that was like that? I mean, I'd probably, you know, because usually you're having it in like a living room area, right? With like mm -hmm. a couple friends or whatever it might mm -hmm. be. So like if you are a girl's girl and you like being in the kitchen, like this is your time to cook a little something for everybody. That's nice. You know, maybe make a little whatever chili or, you know, something everybody can eat or yep. maybe some handheld foods like little sliders or, you know, all the bad things you really shouldn't be eating. But that's why we're here is for after Super Bowl, you can come to us that's and we right. can get all that happy weight off you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to splurge every once in a while. We're all human, right? Absolutely. absolutely. So, you know, it's it, you can make it fun just depending on the environment you know so if you're in the kitchen you can cook a little something mm -hmm. if you want to have a glass of wine have a glass of wine you know and just sit back and relax you know it's straight like a movie absolutely enjoy the game or they have those awesome commercials so you guys commercials are always commercials, awesome right and the halftime show is always cool so the weekend's going to be doing the halftime show this year so it's going to be a pretty big big experience at that point, you guys can you know look forward to watching that if you guys remember like last year. Time. You guys remember last year's half yeah. show, halftime show? Oh, yeah. That was like it was live. It was pretty live. I heard yeah. oh, it was yeah. live for good and live for bad. I yeah. mean, <laughs> I mean, I heard about it. I don't even think I got to see it. No. But you know, I heard it was uh, you yeah. know, a fun. <laughs> a little shaking going yeah. on. So I'm excited to see. You know, it's always fun. They do throw some things in there that you know girls can like too. Some girls like football. So, you know, they like to watch football games. They go to football games. It's not just a guy's sport, you know? Everything's for girls nowadays, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> so this is just a, an experience that you guys can enjoy together, right? Because this is something that happens every year. You guys can, like I said, make the bets on the teams, talk about some football. Maybe, you know, maybe your partner doesn't understand the game. Teach them. That's where, yeah, that's where, like, you know, like teach them the game or teach them how it works. Yeah, and the girl could be like, hey, look at that point guard over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> They just, they just slam dunked, right? They just slam dunked oh, that, right? Oh. oh my God, what a, that's an awesome slam dunk. Definitely not. Definitely not. Be like, you know, babe, just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> just as John says, just sit there and look pretty. So <laughs> there's other things that you guys can do too that can, that can make this experience fun. And let me tell you these other ways. So you're, the ways we've been talking about are sitting at home. Okay? That's the more traditional way I would think. But you can still get out. And if you're in decent weather like here in Florida, you can literally go outside and you guys can get like your little iPad or your phone and actually watch the game right there. So you can have an outdoor type thing, um, maybe a picnic type deal. I love picnics. You know, you can do all these different things and watch the game. So, you know, maybe the girl doesn't like football. That's awesome. But she likes picnics where you're going out and doing something that she likes and you're doing something that you like together. So that, it's really cool. It's not just a one-way attitude like girls like, I, I don't care about betting on the game. I don't care about watching the game and stuff like that. But I'll go outside and sit out there and have a really nice little lunch or, or a little early dinner with you out there. That would be really cool. That would be cute. And they'll think it's romantic too. So, hey, hey guys, take this in consideration. Um, you know, another thing is, is maybe you don't want to stay at home. You guys can go out to, you know, a safe environment. I know there's probably a lot of Social restaurants and involved. stuff like that. You, you guys go. can go out and try to be safe doing that. I know there's a lot of outdoor places 
um, still, and just depends on where you're at because I know some places got hit with snow this last week pretty hard or are still getting hit by snow. So if you guys are in that environment, uh, you guys probably don't have too many options out there. But most of you guys will have the option to go somewhere inside or outside to watch the game, like a sports bar, restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, or any of those places. And that would be really cool too. I, I mean, mean, listen, for those of you out there, because we got to make sure we cover all bases. For those of you out there that don't like football, guys and girls, use this time to do something cool. Because everyone's going to be watching the game. That's right. <laughs> That's so everybody's right. going to be watching the game. Yeah. That frees up all these cool places yeah. for you to go. Yeah. And it's not going to be slammed. There's not going to be a bunch of people. Yeah. This might be a good opportunity to do something you've been wanting to do for yeah. a while. And maybe, let's just say, for instance, let's just, let's just say it's a movie, right? And you don't want to go to the movies because a bunch of people are at the movies. Now everybody's watching the game. They're not at the movies. Yeah. And you want to go now because there's not going to be a bunch of people in there. Well, yeah. then go. Do yeah. that. Do yeah. something fun. Yeah. Make you, a day out of it. You can do totally something totally different than watching the Super Bowl, like she said, because mm -hmm. there are some guys that don't like you know, football. There are know? some guys that don't like and football. It is what it is. So at that point, if you guys both don't like the sport, hey, that's cool too. Like she said, go out, do an activity because people are going to literally be probably in like restaurants, like, you know, like Chili's, like those, those type of things, sports bars. You know, you're not going to probably see a whole bunch of people in fine dining restaurants because they don't, they don't have the big game yeah, on the TV. Yeah, they won't be playing the game. You know, so... At that point, you guys can do all these different cool things. Like here, you can go to Bush Gardens. There's probably not going to be too exactly many people in Bush Gardens. Exactly what I was Gardens, thinking of. Right? Um, but, you know, it just depends on what your state is and, and what you have going on there. But here in Florida, you can pick a number of different things. Mm -hmm. and it, it is going to be wide open because everything's down here in Tampa downtown. It's crazy down here right now. And right now, we're in the middle of the week. So mm -hmm. it's just going to get even crazier on Sunday. But... Where you guys are at, it should be wide open. So take advantage of the time. And maybe you guys just want to sleep and have a good time in bed. That'd be nice. Hey, I would love too. to do that. Take some rest, yeah. relaxation, de-stress together. Maybe you guys can binge and watch some other TV show. We that's love on doing there. that. That's fun. You know, order food, sit in bed all day, and kind of just relax. And then if somebody asks you, uh, did you watch Super Bowl games? Like, yep, I did. I watched it was the highlights. A great time. Yep, yep. I, heard, I watched the highlights on uh, NFL or whatever. Yep, yep. I tuned in for the halftime show. I tuned out. <laughs> So you guys will have this option about what you guys want to do. So make it a good day one way or the other. And it doesn't have to be about football. It's really about you guys and your relationship and how to be better together. So I'm John. I'm Cherie. And we appreciate you guys tuning in for another Cupid's Corner Super Bowl edition. And we will see you next Sunday again, 11 a.m. here on ABC. You guys can also check out all our past episodes on YouTube, go to youtube.com, type in Type Medical Center. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.